Hey guys, it's me, Alyssa at Rags the Stitches. I'm so excited that y'all are joining me for coffee today. Um, if you're joining us for the first time, feel free to link up um, whatever inspirational posts, fun posts, something you want to share with us, just a chance to get to know other people. I totally encourage you to do a video blog or a vlog each week, but you don't have to. It's kind of a challenge that I have for myself to step out of the box a little bit and um, put myself out there on camera, which is kind of a little bit crazy because... It makes me nervous and you guys can see all my quirks and idiosyncrasies and or however you say that word um, but anyways um, if we were having coffee this week I thought I'd do something a little bit different and share some of my like maybe five of my weird quirks that you may not know about so if you ever meet me in um, public you're not shocked <laughs> um, okay so here we go the first one would be um, that I am always in heels. Always. So it's guaranteed that if I come over to your house <laughs> for a play date or to hang out or if we go out for coffee or run errands together, go shopping, whatever, 99% um, of the time I'm going to be in a pair of wedges or a pair of heels. I am 5'2", like almost 5'2", and so I have, have a huge complex about my height and being short, and I my whole life I've been shorter than um, all of my friends, and it drives me crazy, and so you will n hardly ever catch me wearing flats, even though I do own flats and flip-flops, and like super cute ones too. I just very rarely wear them. Well, I guess you would catch me in flats if you came and worked out with me, because obviously I'm wearing my tennis shoes, but... Um, trust me, I have thought about going out and buying those like wedge tennis shoes so I can be a little bit, no, I'm just kidding, that, I'm just kidding, I gotta draw the line somewhere. Um, if, uh, let me see, what would be a second thing that I would tell you? Um, another strange thing you may not know about me is that I never wear my hair up, ever, like ever, usually it's down. But a couple weeks ago, I was in my girlfriend Jackie's wedding, and she, that girl can rock a top knot like you would not believe. You don't believe me? Go check her out, Baby Boy Bakery on Instagram. That girl can rock the top knot. So anyways, the night before her wedding, we were um, headed to do some like DIY stuff, and um, so I just threw on some comfy clothes and threw my hair up and a top knot, or my attempt for a top knot, and after they helped me fix it with a few bobby pins, I was hooked, and so I've been trying to change it up and wear my hair up, you know, whether it's to the side, or top, or braid, or something, but for the most part, my hair is usually down. I, I don't know why, I just, I feel like I look like I'm 12 when I wear it up or something, or it doesn't look that good, I kind of look like a boy, I don't know, it just it's complex. Um, another thing you may not know is that I hardly ever go without makeup. So you're like two for one today. Actually three, y'all, because I'm sitting out here, um, in my backyard and I have no shoes on and my hair is in a top knot and I'm not wearing makeup. I don't know what's going on. You got the absolute worst side of me today. Sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, I usually don't wear any makeup. I usually don't go without makeup. I don't know. It, I think it's just habit from... Uh, all the years of being in school and working and stuff it's just part of my daily routine you get up you put on makeup you get dressed you go so I think for me it's more just a natural part of my day um, but I even will throw on some mascara when I go work out and you can totally laugh and make fun of me everyone does um, but you know we've all got our things um, I'm trying to think what else can I share with you? Am I up to three? Is that three? Um, okay, four. Um, I need to drink my vanilla creamer with my coffee. Um, it needs to be like sugar, filled with sugar and filled with fat. Like I know you can get the vanilla creamer with like fat free, sugar free and everything like that, but I just don't have any of that. I don't drink coffee very often anymore now that I'm working out, but when I do, which is for our coffee dates, 
I have to have the real stuff. You know, it's kind of like going to Starbucks and you order like the non-fat, sugar-free, you know, no whipped, whatever. I'm sorry, but if you're going to pay $5 for a cup of coffee, y'all, you might as well enjoy all the fat that goes in it. So, you know, that's kind of like my, I'm going to go to Starbucks and splurge and treat myself. And so, you know, I'm going to treat myself. Um, and the fifth thing would be that while I used to be an avid coffee drinker, I really only drink coffees on the days that I record my video blogs for you guys um, because most of the time during the week I drink my workout energy drink Spark by Advocare and um, I absolutely love it. Coffee gives me a little bit more of like high highs and low lows during the day and by about 4 o'clock I feel like I could nap for two hours which is really not good because my kids are waking up from their naps. Um, yes, I have a five and a three and a half year old and they both still nap for me every day. Um, so, yeah, so I hardly drink coffee anymore, but I do enjoy it. Um, but that is definitely something that's more weird and quirky. Um, so anyways, do me a favor, leave, uh, link up below and then leave me two weird quirks about you so I feel a little bit better about all the craziness I just shared with you today. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.